All right, how is everybody? I'm having a little bit of a nightmare getting this filmed today, but I will get it done. Um, it's a continuation to uh, the video that I did with this um, Bushnell 1800. Um, it's got built-in applied ballistics, um, and the beauty of it is you can paracastral do it to give it live um, reading, um, live data. So um, what I'm going to do is um, show you how to pair first things first, get this going up, into the uh, weather vane mount that I've got here. That's the best way to get you live data streaming. And use the um, Kestrel Ballistic Linked app on the smartphone. Use that for single target engagement. And I'll go through those steps then. And then I'll show you how to uh, connect your Bushnell 1800 to your Kestrel. And then you can use that for uh, firing solutions on the go. Um, the, only, the only issue I have, and I'm not sure if, it's, if there's a remedy to it, is that the direction of fire has to be has to be set back onto the Kestrel um, in order for you, um, you can't do it remotely through the app or through the rangefinder. Wind can be set live, which is great, and obviously range is live, but when it comes to direction of fire, that there can only be put keyed in through here. Um, but there might be a way around it, I don't know. So. What we do first is I've got this already connected up. I'm not going to go into it too much because there's a lot of good videos out there already. Panhandle Precision do great videos on on all the Kestrel setups. So I'm just going to show you now what I've done here. So I've got my I've selected my profile on the on the, um, on the smartphone app. Hope you can see that. Not too much grease on my phone. Um, we're going to send the profile over. Over right, yes. And that's going to send the uh, profile to the Kestrel. 5700 which is done um, so come out of there just put that to one side for a moment um, and then what we're going to do um, I'll just come out of that I'm just going to show you some um, environment is set to live um, and as you can see the temperature is changing you can give it a spin but what I like to do is stick it stick it in the weather vane mount um, for a few minutes and that will get it um, get it pretty good um, so as you can see there, it says Seiko S20, that's my profile. Environment there, yeah, that's set to live. Latitude is 51 degrees, I've got that set up already. Temperature is 20 degrees. Um, what I need to do is go into ballistics and, no, I don't go into ballistics, do I? Ugh. Get it right, Paul. Who's having a mayor today? You would have thought I would have known this by now. Target. Ugh. Right, target. So, I, so let's show that again. Right, so target there. I select that. Go down to direction of fire. It's DOF. At the moment, it's reading 149 degrees. Well, it will again read 149 degrees because this is what I'm going to do is select that. Go down to capture. Point back of unit at target, which is doing. And then I will select capture. And there we go. We've got the, uh, we've got the degree of angle, direction of fire. So we're going to come out of there. And then what we do now, we've already got the environmentals. Um, I've already put the range in there. You just key that in left or right there. So yeah, as you can see, it's changing each time. So it's giving me a live data, which is great. So 249, and that's good. But what we need now is live wind. So we go down to wind, we press the red button. And as you can see, that arrow comes up to the next there. That gives us live wind. So what we'll do now is we'll open this up and I will just install this into the weather vane and we'll go from there. Okay, so I'll just turn that that way. That's given me live data. Um, and uh, what I'm, I've got hold of at the moment, but what it will do, it will swing into the wind like it's doing there, as you can see. And uh, this will then stream info to my smartphone, uh, the Kestrel Ballistic app, link app. And um, that will have uh, live data. So I'll do that now. I'll just go into it here. So. Two seconds, excuse the wobbliness of the camera. Ugh, don't want everyone to see my key. Right, so here we are. Excuse the wind, not the wind, wobbliness. Right, so I've already set up the gun profile and what I want to do is go into single target engagement. Um, what you can see there is the direction of fire is set, the range is set already. Um, and then here, that's giving you a live reading. As you can see, it's the wind's changing there, 0 0.11. Uh, 
it's not at 250 yards I, I wouldn't expect with a 6.5 Creedmoor that I'm going to get much of a wind deflection but there is some um, and what this does as well is it gives you a high, wet, high, high wind and a low wind so wind is one wind is two um, if it's gusting and say you've got a wind gust of say between 7 and 15 miles an hour it will give you either or and then obviously using the kestrel and your own your own experience with wind reading it all adds up to making that that shot so it's not a, a single solution but it, it, it's going to get you pretty good there so um as you can see there yep so i've dialed in the range dialed in that i'm going to take a shot now i'm going to film it through the trusty m3 and uh, the uh, eagle vision uh scope cam um I don't want to put it on here because the bolt gets in the way and I haven't really figured out how to do it properly yet with this one. Plus I scope myself good and proper. I look like I've been lapped in the eye. Um, so what I'm going to do is set up here and then I'm going to uh, fire a shot at the gong, 249 yards. Okay, I've got it all dialed in now uh, on my scope. Um, and as you can see, I'm getting a live reading from the uh, Kestrel to the smartphone. There he is up there doing his thing. So I'm going to uh, fire a shot now and hopefully it works like it did in the rehearsal. <laughs> right. range 249 yards elevations reading 2.94 2.95 that's obviously changing temperature and ambience uh, we've got windage is between 0.17 and 0.9 I know you can't see this but you don't take my word for it I'm gonna take a shot now that's not, not really much wind and I'm gonna select my point on the target and hopefully it's gonna land precisely where the cash was telling me Oh yes, please. Precisely where I wanted it. Awesome. I got a gun safe. Okay, awesome. I love it when things actually work. So, I know it's only one shot, but um, I have done a lot of shots off camera. And yeah, that is doing exactly what I uh, would hope it would do. Um, I will think about putting the ranges out, but right in the meantime, um, what I want to show you now is how to connect your Bushnell 1800 to your Kestrel so that you've got live uh, live data streaming to your uh, Bushnell. So what you need to do first, get your Kestrel. You've already done your clearing out of your uh, environmentals and all that. Um, what you need to do first is set Bluetooth. As you can see there, it says connection PC mobile. That's because it's connected to my phone. You want to get it connected to that you mean scroll across and it will say device scroll down device connect name that's my nitro uh obviously it's there already press your button there sorry press your button and it's connected it will all once you've paired your uh, your bush now to your kestrel it will automatically find it same as your bush now it's connected to your phone it will automatically find it through bluetooth so there we go it says connected exit come out of there you see the little bluetooth symbol there that means your device is now connected what will happen is this does power off after about i think 30 seconds save the battery as soon as you press that button there your standby button there as soon as you press that that will activate the uh, kestrel connection will be automatically remade and then you can go for your firing solution but so with this again if you want to uh, get it connected to your uh, kestrel, sorry, from your bush now to your kestrel, you need to set the direction of fire. Now, I'm not 100% in what I filmed today, I'm not 100% if I know that I can change the direction of fire using a smartphone. I know for sure that you cannot change the direction of fire remotely using the rangefinder by just pointing. It would be great. Maybe a more expensive ones do it, but the whole point is that this bush now is 400 quid, and this is 300 50 whatever it was um, it's the cheapest 
uh, firing solution out there that you can get for uh, you know a, a quick Bluetooth connection so that you can just fire and, and shoot. So point and shoot. So here we go. We're going to go into target. Select that direction of fire. Get it right. Pull out. There we go. Select capture. Yeah, done that. So that's done that. So now that's 147 degrees. The range is still the same. What I'll do in a minute is I will start, I will ping the target, and you can see that the uh, Bushnell will change what the actual range is on this. Um, but as well, what you need to do is select the wind, and then press this button here. This button will then uh, give you make sure you've got a live reading. Ensure your wind cover is open. And as you can see there, it's changing, yeah, okay, it's changing, great. Um, so what we wanna do now, I'm gonna put this in the weather vane and I'm gonna start pinging some results from the rangefinder and it will give me a, uh, a firing solution for the windage and elevation. Okay, I'm just gonna, uh, currently, it says uh, 250 yards, and that's in my direction of fire, is that my target's down there. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lace that uh, wind turbine over there. I haven't got the means uh, to film through my rangefinder, but um, you, you should be able to see what's happening on the uh, Kestrel. So here goes, activate it. So 377 yards and it's telling me the elevation 6.13. So there you go, it streamed it to the Kestrel. And obviously that is giving me the same data on here, which is great. So they both work. Um, and again, what I'm gonna do now is uh, just another proof of concept. I'm gonna shoot that target, not that box there, but that target down the bottom there, 250 yards away. I'm gonna laser it with my range finder whilst the Kestrel's uh, set up in the uh, weather vane obviously remembering to uh yeah that's already live live wind reading so that's off that's on yeah um i've already captured my direction of fire so all that's good let's get this set up and then another uh, proof of concept shot okay just gonna laze this target here all right so it's telling me 249.2 yards away Yeah. Elevation is 2.8 MOA and it's telling me nothing for wind. The wind has just decided to die down right now. So I'm going to go for the same point of impact as last time. So here it goes. Excuse the heavy breathing. A lot of mirage today. Oh yes please. That will do pig. So as you can see same impact, I'll have the same correction. Yep it works and it works very good. Okay so I've shown that it works. I've shown you how to pair your uh, devices to it. Um, just going to go into a downside the only downside i see with this is um and the kestrel is that you've got to actually um manually input your direction of fire into this now i use a vehicle to shoot from uh may have said in previous videos i find it hard to get about so uh i use one of these as my legs um but my intention was to put a weather vane mounted to the top of the vehicle and then get myself live read into that. Um, but because I have to change the direction of fire each time, um, I'm gonna find it a little bit hard to do that. So I'm gonna figure something out and uh, use it from that. But um, also, 
when these batteries go, it can have a little bit of a trouble um, pinging the signal to this. Um, that's my only issue. Um, it does. It does. You do notice this slight bit of uh, degradation in signal. As such, I think that's the right word. But otherwise, great bit of kit. What I want to do is um, get it really trued and ready for this um, M3 um, out to further than 100 yards. Because as I said before, the ballistics, applied ballistics within this, work very well out to 100. Um, you're not looking at that much aiming off. But obviously, you know, within, when it comes to shooting this. Uh, the 6.5 Creedmoor. We're shooting at ranges up to 600 yards at the moment. Um, we want to try and push them out further, eight, nine hundred yards. And um, you need to get all your uh, all your info bang on first. Um, or don't even bother wasting a bullet. Um, so yeah, with this, I want to get it sorted out, get it validated out to 200 yards, um, and get it all and put it into the Castro. And I may do another video with that. Just just this air rifle using uh, a Castro 5700. Um, great bit of kit, uh, been kind of putting one, getting off one for a while, um, but since I've been back on using this, as the weather's got better, um, I don't see a reason why I shouldn't, it's money well spent. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, any questions please feel free to ask me, and obviously any criticisms please feel free to say. So thanks, thanks for watching. Just one more thing, um, I've just finished, shut this video down and realised there's something what's going on over there? No, nope. having a break. Um, there's something I need to say is quite important with uh, when you come to pairing this bush now to your uh, to your Kestrel. Um, is apart from having the Kestrel set to device, you need to ensure that this is set from um, applied ballistics ultralight. You need to set it to applied applied ballistics elite. Uh, we'll say ABE in the uh, viewfinder. Uh, once you've done that, um, that means that, that this can then talk to your uh, Kestrel. But uh, again, yeah, that's what it was. Um, sorry to tack it on at the end of the video, but yeah, thanks for watching. And um, hopefully be back with some more whilst this uh, lovely weather continues.